Good day YouTube, Motomaster X5 here. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I've got a microphone I'm trying out now, so hopefully this video actually, you know, works and you can hear the audio and everything. If not, I guess you'll never know because I'll have to make a new video. Um, but I figured, you know, a microphone might be nice so you don't always hear just, you know, the same muffled quality of audio we've had in the past videos because I've been speaking this way and the camera is behind me so so today I'm going to talk about different octane ratings in fuel such as the difference between regular fuel and premium and super or whatever arbitrary names they give them uh, basically um, if it's we're going to talk about if it's actually worth paying for higher octane fuel and what I personally run in my Mazda 3 and if it's actually even worth it. So what octane rating actually is, for those of you who don't know, is it's basically the stability of the gasoline. It's less likely to combust under heat and pressure, um, the higher the octane rating. So it allows for things such as higher compression ratios and thus more power, um, more boost if you have a turboed engine because you don't want knocking, which if you're running a low octane rating fuel in a vehicle that requires higher octane, basically the fuel won't be stable enough to withstand the higher pressures and you might get pre-detonation, which that's no good. That's no good at all. Um, I've personally had that happen in my Subaru when I had that, even though I was actually running 93 octane in it at the time. Not sure what was going on there, but Anyway, that's basically the purpose of a higher octane rating. So let's say you have an engine um, that recommends just you know regular fuel, regular unleaded 87 octane. What that's saying is it, it only needs the fuel to be as stable as 87 octane fuel will be. Um, so let's say you go ahead and you throw 91 or 93 or even 95 octane fuel in that engine that runs 87 octane or recommends 87 octane. Um, well, the engine's not really tuned to, you know, use a higher compression than what's needed for 87 octane. So, theoretically, it's not going to really make any difference. Um, the engine, if it's not having issues with 87, you're not going to gain anything by going to 93, really. Or anything higher than that. Theoretically. I mean, tuning is pretty complex, the way engines work nowadays. What's going on here? Um, not really sure what's going on there. But anyway, um, so yeah, let's say you have an 87 octane engine, you're on 93, it's just going to run the same way it would with 87, except you're paying more for the gas, for the most part. Um, but let's say you go the other way on the flip side, if you have an engine that needs 93 octane and you run the 87 or anything lower than what it recommends, um, like we were saying before, you'll get the detonation and knocking. So really, it doesn't really help to pay for higher octane fuel unless you need it, which a lot of people probably know that by now, I would hope. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and be a hypocrite here because I actually run 93, 91 to 93 in this car, depending on what's available where I'm buying gas. And I know that sounds really stupid, um, especially considering what I just said about it being a waste of money. But I will explain my reasoning and how it might actually make a difference with the Mazda engines and the way they're tuned from factory. It probably doesn't. I'm probably just pissing money away. Oh my god. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> but basically, from my understanding, the Mazda engines, the way they work, um, if you don't know, the engine, the Skyactiv engines in the Mazdas, they run a very high compression ratio, like a 13 to 1 in America and 14 to 1 elsewhere. And so you have a 13 to 1 compression ratio engine, which is very high for um, an engine running on standard fuel. I'll let this guy in. So it's running on 87 octane with a high compression ratio. I'm going to have to mute that in a second. That's really annoying me. Um, so yeah, you have a high compression ratio. Fuck that light running 87 octane, and apparently the way the Mazda engines work, the Sky Active engines, is they're always listening for knock, and they keep advancing the timing, advancing the timing, until they detect a knock event, and then they retard the timing a bit. 
and they always they stand in this balance of retarding and uh, advancing the timing, riding right on the edge of knock events. Um, and I'm not sure how often they actually get those knock events. I really should just you know check it with an OBD2 reader. Come on, buddy. Because I could easily or relatively easily check that and see if actually I'm wasting my money. But my rationale is, if you're running 87 octane, they probably expect it to get knock events occasionally, so it keeps retarding the timing to you know prevent engine damage. And my rationale is, well, if it's doing that and I run higher octane fuel, it won't need to retard the timing as much, and I'll theoretically gain a little bit of power from it, and the engine will run better. Um, not sure how true it actually is, like I said, but for my peace of mind, <clears throat> I'll, I'll pay the extra like 10 cents a gallon. Um, and there's also the fact that I buy fuel at places that offer ethanol-free gas, but only in the premium fuel. So I also like running ethanol-free in my car, if possible. I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't really care that much, but where I fuel up, I get ethanol-free 93 octane, or 91 octane, sorry. So that's my rationale for why I run 93 in this car, or 91 in this car, even though it's only recommended to run 87. Um, I don't really know if it's any faster. I mean, it feels about the same, maybe slightly quicker. It's probably the same. But like I said, with the whole way these active engines work, riding on the knock sensor, um, I feel like it could actually make a difference with the active engines. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. Um, I'm curious as to what you guys who drive Mazdas or know more about the Mazda engines than me think about that, if that makes any sense to you. Um, and if you think it's a waste of money, feel free to call me a dumbass for, you know, telling you guys that, hey, it's a waste of money to run premium fuel in an 87 octane vehicle, and then I do it myself. Um, so yeah, maybe it's just a waste of money, but I am curious as to what you guys think. Oh, I don't want to go there. Fuck. Or do I want to go there? I did want to go there. Shit. Okay, I'll turn around up here. I usually don't go this way. I'm taking a different route for you guys, so you don't have the same old scenery every time I drive but anyways guys yeah let me know what you guys think and what you guys run in your Mazdas or whatever car you happen to drive so you guys have a good day